In this video, I'll be showing you the newest block suite script, so let's just get right into it. All right, guys, so in order to get the script, what you're going to want to do is click on the first link or the second link in the description and then scroll down on the page in order to get the script. And then you're going to see this blue get script button. Of course, you're going to want to click on it, but X out of the tab it opens. Click the second time and then X out of that tab. And then on the third time, after you close those two tab pop ups, you're going to want to click and then it'll bring you here. Then you're going to want to do this extension at it click on it then it'll bring you to here where you guys can copy the script and then next up what you're going to want to do is load into your game and then take out your exploit something like Evon, which is free but anyways inject and execute the script i'll be showing you how to use this gui completely safely without any risk of anything happening to your account and first off let's check out the auto farms okay so you're going to select which item you want to use for your combat i'm just going to be using my fists and then and then select the mode that you're going to auto farm let's just do a fast mode because you know we're just like that okay and as you guys can see we're getting started with the auto farm already it's really fast as you can see and it groups all the bandits together and it's really just the best ui out there i mean look at that <laughs> just leveled up like eight times in a second so anyways now it's moving on to the next island because we leveled up enough we're level 10 and now it's moving on to these dudes but while we're auto farming you guys can also check out the things like the Marage Island Hop, the Bone Auto Farm, the Auto Mastery. Uh, you guys can also automatically use skills. So like the Auto Tackle, the Ground Smash, whatever melee weapon you guys are using, you can automatically use the specials for that. Okay. So uh, now that we're finished farming these guys, let's uh, instead farm a boss because, you know, we're, we've leveled up. Okay. We're too good for these normal guys so now we're gonna be auto farming the boss Ooh, chest three hundred dollars not bad not bad so let's let's, let's do uh, the gorilla king that, that seems about my level okay i should be able to kill this guy with no problem so auto farm boss and now we're gonna kill this dude okay let's do this it's a gorilla king you're about to die you stand no chance against me. Okay. You know, I'm not doing very much damage because I have literally like level zero fist stat, but we will be automatically upgrading that in just a second. And guys, look, if I do die right now, I'm just going to teleport right back and continue hitting him. So it's not really a problem. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're about to die unless we clutch up. No, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> But it's fine because we're right back at it, okay? And while we're auto farming this guy, you get some auto farm materials as you can see. And it looks like he's about to die. Bam, rip bozo. Let's turn that off now. And let's upgrade our stats a bit, okay? So as you guys just saw, I have level one defense, which is not ideal, especially if I'm literally just using my fists to kill people. I probably need that higher, right? So let's automatically upgrade our melee and as you guys can see i'm spending all my points let's turn that off and let's also do some defense there you go turn that on oh, turn that on there you go and now we got that leveled up as well and that's really useful if you guys are auto farming because obviously you're gonna earn mastery points so while you're auto farming you can also automatically upgrade your mastery points over here you guys can also automatically refund a certain amount of points but let's move back to the weapons scroll down but let's move on back to the main scroll down and there's a lot of transforms that you guys can do if you do have the appropriate fruit but let's move on to the weapons where you guys can automatically use certain things from your weapons but let's move on to the but let's move on to the raid plus ESPs. So over here, you guys can do a bunch of different settings for the dungeons and raids, as you can see. But what I'm looking for is the ESP. And if you turn them on, as you guys can see, we see all the data on the map. So we see where all the chests are, where all the players are, and where all the devil fruits are. But it does look like there are no drop devil fruits currently in this lobby. So there are none. But if there were, you would be able to see them. So it's a pretty cool feature, and I definitely recommend you guys use it. Over here in the player section, though, you guys can change your FOV for your uh, combat. You can also show it and uh, aimbot people if you do have a gun. 
you guys can also automatically kill a certain player so we can spectate them teleport to them we can auto kill them or auto kill them with a the gun so <laughs> lots of options to troll people can this guy kill me i think i'm too low level yeah he definitely can't he's killing the gorilla king i don't know why this guy seems way too uh, overpowered. Oh, the Gorilla King's hitting me. Okay, let's get away from that. So, in the stats section, you guys... So, in the shop section, you guys can automatically buy a bunch of stuff. So, abil abilities, fighting styles, accessories. Let's, let's try to buy one of the accessories. Okay, no. We're going to use a cutlass instead of a fist. As you guys saw, we just bought that from the GY. You didn't even have to go anywhere. You guys can also buy a gun, of course. Let's see a slingshot. No, I'm too broke. How much could a slingshot cost? Come on, guys. But let me demonstrate the slingshot now by changing my weapon from fist to the cutlass. Bam. There you go. We selected our cutlass. And now let's auto farm again. And as you can see, now we're hitting the gorillas with our sword, which is also applicable to whatever other weapon you guys have. But I just happen to have the sword and my fists, so that's what I'm using. But anyways, let's check out the teleports, which is... switch teams so obviously i'm a pirate right now but you guys can just with the click of a button switch teams you can also open different gy's from the gy gy section over here so pretty cool and you guys can also do things like no clip through walls and items you can also turn on infinite energy which that does not seem to be working it seems to be patched uh you guys can also automatically uh have infinite abilities so bam there you go you also have no dodge cooldown. I'm not sure what the dodge key is. Ah, there we go. So There's no cooldown for that, so that's pretty cool. And a, a few other uh, options over there. Something we skipped over though is the weapon section, where, which is pretty useful as well. So over here you guys can edit your quest items. So you guys can auto saber, auto sword, auto quest. So pretty cool. A bunch of auto options for your different weapons, which is pretty useful if you guys are trying to farm up and level up your weapons. And one weapon in particular, which you really want to upgrade. So you guys can do that straight from here. but. In the last section, we have the race v4, which you guys can obviously use these for the race. And it's pretty overpowered, to be honest, but I am not eligible for them because uh, I'm level 16. 
but I definitely recommend you guys check it out. But that's all for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and let me know if you guys are going to use this GUI down in the comments. Also, check out that video right there. It's another block suite script, which is, I can't lie, even better than this one. So I definitely recommend you check that one out. But that's all. Thank you for watching until the end. That really supports the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.